Hey guys, and welcome to Five Stone. My name is Eric Townsend. My name is John Conover. And today we bring to you our very first podcast and video cast, Everyday Carry. This is what we carry on our person, and hopefully will help you to kind of make some decisions and decide what you need to carry. So, real quick, who we are and why the company's called Five Stone. When David fought Goliath, he went to the creek and he picked up five stones. Not one, but he got five. Reason being, Goliath had four brothers, and David was tactically prepared with the tools that he needed to annihilate the bloodline and win that battle if need be. Yep. And that's our mission for you, is to help you become prepared. You can trust us here at Five Stone because we have got years and years and years of professional, real-world experience using the things that we're going to review, from medical gear to uh, tactical gear to outdoor gear to technical packs and all this stuff we have used them. We've got um, military and law enforcement and combat instructors, edge weapon instructors, paramedics, emergency, uh, uh, licensed emergency medical providers, um, what, uh, private security details, yep. uh, special operations rescue. We've done all this stuff. We're not saying to brag, but you can trust what we say because we've actually lived it and done it, right? Exactly. So, let's talk about everyday carry. All right. Um, what do you think is the most important thing to carry on your person? Uh, man, whatever. Every day when I leave the house, yeah. I make sure I got my wallet, my keys, and my gun. Bare minimal. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I, we do. I do carry a knife every day. You know, just a utility knife. But when I dump my pocket out at night, this is usually what comes out of it. Yeah. Um, I carry a little three-inch Kershaw. I think you carry the exact, the same, exact knife. same knife. Uh, it's got a little bottle opener on it. It's very <laughs> light, very compact, very durable. Um, there are some issues with it. some issues with it locking open and hard to get it shut. But outside of that, it works very well. Um, very cheap. Uh, you never even know what's on you, really. But very good tool. It's a sweet blade. Yeah. yeah. Cutting boxes, opening mail. Kids are always got toys they want open, you know. Perfect. There you go. Yep. Perfect little tool. That's right. And that's, and that's what it is. It's, just it's not a big long blade, so if you don't feel comfortable with something big like that, it's perfect. You know, exactly. if you've got regulations where you work or whatever, it's good for that. Yeah. Um, on to another thing. I got another knife that I really like to carry. It's a little bit longer knife, but it's a it's a Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops. It's got the Tonto blade here, serrated edge down here. It's got a window punch in the back, seat belt cutter, rope cutter, and good self defense tool. If you didn't want to use the blade, you just take it out. And you can strike with that uh, back side of that too. So it's a really good tool. Uh, Smith and Wesson Extreme Ops. You can check it out. They're pretty sweet. The possibilities are endless with with knives. I'm actually in the process of looking for a fixed blade yeah. to carry every day. Um, but uh, and same with weapons, you know. There's just so many different types of models, oh whatever you're gosh, comfortable yeah. with. Uh, but moving on to you know to our primary weapon that we carry every right. day. You know, and again, me and Eric carry nearly the exact same we EDC. We didn't even know about this. We carried the same knife until today. Yeah, we had no idea. So, so I carry a, a Glock 19 Gen 5 every day, clear, no mag. Um, I mean, Glock is just tried and true. Uh, it's been tested and proven by. Uh, military and law enforcement across around the world. Right. You know, yeah. about seventy percent of the world's military and law enforcement use Glock, and f and you know for perfectly good reason. Good reason. Yeah. 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 Um, me and you have used Glock for years. Oh put gosh. it to the test. Um, and just recently, we 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 took a course. We put hundreds of rounds through these these yes, exact we weapons right here. Zero uh, failures. Zero failures. You know, just awesome. I trust my my life and my family's life with Glock, okay? Um, yeah, there's there's other other weapons out there that are just as good, you know, but price point, yeah. um, you know, reliability, durability, man, I've beat the crap out of my Glocks, yeah, and too. they have always yeah. performed. Glocks um, are so reliable, and the way that they're just built and the way that they feel, we're pretty big guys, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We've got big hands, but the way that these things are just, the same thing, it's, it's clear too, but the way the, the, the profile is just slim, so it's easy to conceal and carry, Awesome, awesome, awesome. The upgrades are endless. You oh, know, yeah. uh, you can put new barrels, new slides, new triggers. That's a trigger, something I never touch, though. Yeah. If you do have to use it in a self defense scenario and you have to go to court, I would hate to have some sort of, you know, aftermarket trigger or right. something, you know. Um, yeah, that's true. It's a good point. It, 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 a factory Glock, you know, has about a, what, four and a half, five pound yeah. trigger pull, something like that. Uh, so if you pull that trigger, you know, you're pretty well intend to. Right. Um, I've upgraded a few things. We'll talk about that later. But the possibilities are endless with them. Um, what we carry them in. And, you know, I, I carry 
a taco style Kydex holster. Yeah, same, same thing as you here. Do pretty much. And just again, the profiles are just so small and thin that they're just easy. They, they're good. They're, they're locked. They're securing. You do have to have finger discipline and not get that finger if you're going to carry appendix. You know, carry to not get that finger down inside that trigger guard. So whenever you shut, you close it, then it goes off and actually on discharge and shoot yourself in the leg femoral artery yeah. something like that so big deal um and i feed mine uh you know my primary mag is a, is a standard glock 19 uh 15 round mag uh and i usually carry uh federal um hsts um great uh uh tissue and organ disruption with yeah. with uh, the hsts and that's another thing that we talk about too whenever we're talking about you know what we carry and why from a medical standpoint this is we see this stuff. Yep. We see the injuries. We see the, the different injuries from the different rounds and calibers and, and all this stuff. So we're giving you our, our honest opinion. It's because we've seen the devastating yep. effects of it. We're the, just, not, yep. just not looking up statistics online and trying to spit it back out for you. Like, we have to treat them and take care of them. Yep. So we've seen the damage. The, the Anybody wants to fool you and say a twenty two is a useless weapon? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to have a big debate coming up on 9 millimeter, yeah. 40, 45. That's going to be a big discussion video coming out too. So stay tuned for that one because that's a hot topic right now. So. Um, and backup mags. Uh, I carry a Glock 17 backup mag. I get a couple extra rounds uh, in my backup mag that I do out of a primary I haven't mag. really thought about carrying the 17. I knew they were compatible. Yeah. But I just never thought about having those couple extra mags. I like, it's your backup, so why not? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, you could carry a, a mag extension or a 17 mag in your primary, but you're gonna print with that. Yeah. You know, people's yeah. gonna see that you got a magazine sticking out under your shirt. So this is in my pocket. You know, I carry uh, an inside the pocket uh, backup mag carrier. Uh, I carry full metal jackets in my backup mags because you don't always you don't always gonna take your bad guy down with your first two or three shots. Very good if they hide behind a car door, behind a windshield, behind a wall. You've got penetrating power with with right. full metal jackets. Whereas you you carry your Hornady, you know, critical defense, your HSTs, whatever these hollow points. Whenever they hit, they're going to have that expansion yep. and maybe fragment and not have the deep penetration that these full metal jackets. Yep. So anyway, that's stuff for all that you know. You can review and look up and get some more information on. Decide what you need for yourself. But you got to train. You got to be careful. Yep. Say. All right, medically, we're medical minded, but one thing that we always say is. Yeah, so we, if you carry a gun, you're in a mindset that you're that something could happen. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the possibility of being in a gunfight. And if you think that you're going to be in a situation like that, whether it be a knife fight uh, or just a blunt object, physical altercation, or a gunfight, yeah. you're going to probably get hurt. Okay? Right. We so, always say, if you're going to get in a knife fight, you're going to get cut. Yeah. Expect to get cut. Yeah. If you're going to be in a gunfight, expect to get shot. Yeah. And have mes methods in place to be able to take care of that if need be. Exactly. Um, so some people carry tourniquets on them. Uh, I don't. I've always got one within arm's reach, though, in my car, in my home, places like that. Uh, I carry an IFAC yeah. behind the headrest of my car. That's individual first aid kit. This is just an example. They're packed full of medical gear. Um, it don't have to be as in-depth in as this because, I mean, this is what yeah. we do for a profession. So ours is a little bit more in-depth, but having something with you, you yeah. know, for... And we'll go over the yeah. necessities for an IFAC. Another video, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know... Have something to, to render aid to either yourself, your family, uh, or bystanders, or whatever. Yeah. You know, and not just gunfights, uh, car wrecks. If you're, yeah, if you're exactly. traveling, you need to have a first aid kit yeah. in your car. I've come across, I don't know how many car wrecks exactly. on the road, and I've used this kit multiple times, you know. So yeah. Our buddy, our buddy uh, um, Aaron, when yeah. he, we had that kid that got hurt on the church hayride. Oh, yeah. Yeah, had a, that, yeah, yeah. severe uh, uh, arterial yeah. bleed. And uh, so that's a prime example, just a, a basic family function on a farm or something like that, yeah. that your your child could, you know, you could hold their life in your hands. So you've yeah. got to have something on you to, exactly. to take care yeah. of that stuff. There's multiple tourniquets. We'll go over different kinds and stuff. But anyway, just knowing how to use what you have and use it safely is probably the yeah. most important key. We can go over tons of different gear, but it is your responsibility to study it, to learn it, to know the pros, the cons, to know the risk associated with it, and to be diligent on your training. You don't just go out and buy some kind of gun because it looks cool and you want to carry it. That's a horrible decision, and you're going to get yourself or somebody else hurt or killed. You have to have discipline. You have to have training. Uh, we can help with that. Um, you know, We've got resources to help with that as well, but you've got to understand, please be cognizant, and please be prepared and be safe. We don't want anybody getting hurt, but we want you to be prepared and to protect yourself and your family. Uh, I think that's it. It's a pretty short video, but uh, a short podcast here. But 
It's simple, and it's what yep. people need to just understand. Don't carry a bunch of bulk with you. Carry what you need that you can actually use and train with. Just enough to get the job done. Exactly. All right, man, anything else? That's all I've got, buddy. Rock on, man. Thank you guys for checking out Five Stone, and we are out. Until next time, please check out all the links. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody that you know about it. We want to be the one-stop shop, the one-stop resource for you to come to to get trusted, legit information by people who have lived and done it and professionals in the field. Okay, we're giving you our, our pouring our heart and soul out because we care about this country. We care about our Second Amendment. We care about you and protecting your loved ones, and we're here to help you. So until next time, Five Stones is out.